Hi everybody, thanks for joining us as we unbox the EVGA Z12 RGB gaming keyboard. There's definitely a bright, nice glow from the keyboard. It's really nice. This is the default setting, and you can see that the keys are cycling through the various colors. It is a very vivid, bright light. If you want to turn down the brightness on the RGB, you can hold the function key and the down arrow, and it'll gradually dim down until it's completely off. But I'm sure my son's going to want it all the way up. Also, there's different RGB settings you can scroll through. Again, you wanna hold the function key, and if you go right or left, it'll go through the different settings. You can make it all one color. You can make it scroll through the colors a little bit differently. And there is this setting that I find really weird. It lights up the keys around it. And each time you keystroke, it changes color. But to me, that's kind of a funky effect because then it just looks like a broken keyboard or something like that. But maybe that's the intention to make it look like it's broken. Let's see, I'll try it here. You see how it changes color each time? But anyways, we'll probably keep it on the stock scrolling setting like we have right now. Let me try turning my lights off. These are the RGBs in a dark room. You can see it kind of going through the colors. It is pretty vivid in a dark room. It's really bright. I think it's the cool effect that kids want nowadays. And I'm sure my son's gonna love it. Now, I bought this from Amazon and it shipped exactly like this. It wasn't placed in a box. They actually put the shipping label right on top of the box. So people knew exactly what was sitting at my doorstep. Glad nobody took it. I bought this keyboard for 20 bucks. It was on sale. It claims to have a 25% faster response time. It claims to have a three millimeter full travel distance. I know some membrane keyboards only have like maybe one or one and a half millimeters of travel. So three millimeters is quite deep. It is supposed to be spill resistant and rated for 20 million keystrokes. We're more interested in the longevity of the backlight because my son really likes backlit keyboards. He thinks they're really cool. So anyways, let's go ahead and open up this box. Ooh. Here we go. I have to say, for a cheap $20 keyboard, it feels pretty heavy and that's a good sign. Maybe it's not all plastic, maybe there's some metal which is always a plus for keyboards. I have owned a variety of mechanical keyboards and currently my favorite are Logitech G Roamer switches. And this is supposed to be a membrane keyboard. And I've had good membrane keyboards too. I have a Razer Chroma keyboard that I really like and that's a membrane keyboard and I use it to play computer games all the time and it's been great. But personally for work, I like Logitech G Roamer switches. And this is just supposed to be a fancy membrane keyboard, I believe from EVGA. Now that I have the keyboard out, I'm pushing down on some of the keys and the travel does feel pretty good. I want to say it's noticeably deeper than a typical membrane keyboard. It's definitely deeper than your average laptop or touch membrane keyboard. It has a nice bit of travel. It's definitely membrane though. You don't feel any switches in here. It has a nice feel to it. I also noticed on the keyboard is a very nice braided cable because I have had these cables break in the past on my other keyboards. So I do like this braided finish. It appears to be pretty well made where the cable comes out. It's pretty solid. So um, I do expect the cable to hold up for a long time. Also, one thing to note, there are these nice rubber feet on each corner and in the middle of the keyboard. 
And so you can see the nice rubber feet here. There's a nice texture to the back of the keyboard, which is cool. The exterior of the keyboard is all plastic, but it's definitely heavy and it feels like there is a metal case underneath because it is so heavy. Overall, very well made. I would put it up against any of my other mechanical keyboards in terms of build quality. Thank you for joining us for this video and I hope to see you in the future. Bye.